Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. We are still back in the uh, residential block, but let's go check in on uh, Kyle and Dawn and all of them at the Bobcat and see what's going on. Gisette, how are you? Doing all right? No problems here. Looks like that might not be true with the repairs, though. Yes, well, we needed to get airborne. We could, but the damage to the internals means we wouldn't get very far. Until we're done with the repairs here, we wouldn't be able to land even if we escaped. I see. Well, you need anything? Give the word. I'll go excuse myself with whatever we need from the aerosol. Ha! Huh. That's the baby sister I know and love. I'll be counting on you. Listen up, Gisette. You run into any trouble, you call us right away. I can still coax some life out of this old cat. We'll come running no matter where you are. Well, that's nice. Oh, your ladyship, you're back? Uh-huh. Just wanted to check on stuff. How's the ship? One of the struts is bent, but everything else is pretty much intact. It'll really depend on the internals, but it sounds like it'll be fixed soonish. Good. Keep it up. Wish is my command. Okay. And you. Ah, this is hopeless. It would have been easier if it had just broken clean off. I have no idea how we'll fix a bend like this. Oh well, sucks to be you. Oh yeah, in all the commotion I almost forgot. Does the word Orpheus mean anything to you guys? What? Wait, Orpheus? Why do you ask? It came up a few times with the conversations the guards had. It seemed kind of meaningful, so it stuck out. Oh, I see. That is kind of curious. Wait, maybe it's the... Hmm, what could it be? Could be the password. Yeah. The train terminal in the factory district. You think so too, Joshua? I think I'm missing something here. I see. Yeah, that does seem a little too coincidental. Worth a shot at least, eh? I think so. Thanks, Kyle. Let's go try it out. Yeah, definitely. And talk to you. Okay, so, yeah. Not really much to say over there. They're just talking on the radio. They can, you know, this is basically saying that, you know, the two ships can communicate with each other. So now that we finally have the password to um, the, uh, what, what is it called, to the, uh, to the industrial factory area, we need to head over there. So we're just going to go through here and then ride the train over to the industrial area, and I'm going to meet you there. In the Factoria district, I'm going to go ahead and do the uh, gate lock release. Okay, give, I think that we can figure this out given what we learned from Kyle. Use the gospel, let's try speaking the password. Okay, so let's do it. So we actually have to go into our item menu and use the original gospel. There we go. Okay. Oh, Miss Oslace, really? Hmm. And it was Orpheus. Well, there we go. That was easy enough, and again, this is the door that we have to unlock, so we're just going to go down that elevator and then head over to the left, and I'm going to meet you over at that tunnel. Here I am. Let's uh, head on inside. Let's do this. The Liber Arc Tunnels number three, the last of the tunnels that we have to go through. Thankfully, we're almost through. Almost through. We just have one more final dungeon to go through, and it's really, honestly, not much of a dungeon, I've got to say. It's really more of a walk in a circle, grab treasures, fight a boss sort of thing. It's really nothing. Like, it's not mazy. It's not like it's not like the Final Dungeons in the Final Fantasy games, where it's like a big, drawn-out deal. <laughs> Happy that we came back. Yeah, it's just kind of a... Um, it's really more a dungeon just for storyline purposes. It's kind of like, you know, you go here just because we want to talk to certain people. And if you're wondering why Josette is still in my party, it's because I didn't really feel like going to the aerosol and changing her out. But I will be changing her out um, later on in the episode when we do have a better chance to go back to the uh, aerosol. So worry not, she will be kicked out uh, unceremoniously because she sucks. Yeah. And anyway, we need other characters in our party for more storyline or better storyline sequences, I should say. So, yeah, we're almost through with here. Let's see what we can do here. And then we're going to head up uh, for some more treasure. Ooh, monsters. And to get some Spiegel shoes from there. Let's check those out. EP Charge 3. And a Celestial Bomb. Let's uh, see what those uh, Spiegel shoes do. Hmm. Uh, oh, you can't equip them. I guess they're men only. There they are. Oh, that's not bad, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, plus five speed, too. Yeah, definitely put those on Joshua. And just keep on moving right along. 
There we go. Uh, in here for another treasure room. Curia ball. A wood gem. I'll have to check that out. Ooh, more sepet. Nice. Ha, <laughs> made you look. Uh, let's look at that uh, gem. Let's see. Uh, throw it here. And it was a wood gem. Uh, where is it? There it is. Okay, so it's like an impede level 5. Uh, not bad, but I'm not going to use it. Anyway, uh, just keep on going through this long, narrow hallway. Uh, once you get the cloak gem, I mean, and you don't need to gain levels, it just kind of becomes a joke to go through all these different um, passages that they force you to keep on going through. You get a water gem there, nice. S tablet. Curia Balm, Emergency Puppet that revives you in case of KO and EP Charge 2, Tear All Bomb, Monsters! Yeah, more of these guys, so let's keep, let's go uh, check them out. There's some of them that we haven't fought yet, like I think the Kalish Gray. Ancient Flying Monster splits her and generates when injured, be aware its body fluids, the Ebony Scale, I think that we've seen before, and the Brute Angler, which will die in one hurricane. So I'll go ahead and do that. There we go. Nice. Yeah, easy enough. And you know what? The boss at the end of this place is something that we've already seen before. So what I think I'm going to do is show off, um, what's her name? Um, Josette's Bobcat ability. I think that that would be a good idea. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and have her use, um, yeah, just use it. Whatever. Nice. Not bad at all. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. And then we'll just uh, death scream these guys. And that should be it. Easy enough. Yeah, Chloe's doing great with her uh, with her death screams. It's so nice to have it. She has all the healing abilities and the ability to use the best damage spell in the game. Chloe's amazing. End game. Early game, not so much. End game. Definitely. So there we go. Okay. Lots of stuff there. And what do I get? Parthenon gear. Okay. Let's check that out. See, uh, see what that does. Mm, there they are. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. I'll totally give those to Estelle. Those are pretty good. So that's it for treasure in this place. Now we just have to go back to the uh, fork that we split up at last time which was just right down here in this room, head over to the right-hand door, and continue on our way through. We're almost at the boss of this place, but it's the same boss that we've already fought before uh, previously, so I'm actually going to cut it, because it's not much of a boss, to say the least. <laughs> and more long, narrow hallways. I'm getting, like, Final Fantasy XIII flashbacks, although I believe that this was created well before Final Fantasy XIII, actually. But, uh, yeah. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. Lots of these guys. Have I seen these? Yeah, these Kalish Greys. Took care of those guys. It was just, uh, more of those same things that we saw back, uh, back in that treasure chest. The Kalish Greys. It was just eight of them. So, yeah. That's all it was. Oh, hey. Man, it's bright. Hey, this is... Estelle, look! I what it is. A long, narrow hallway. Estelle, look! It's another long, narrow hallway! Woohoo! Uh-oh. Yikes! Ooh, and reinforcements too. This is not good. Whoa! Okay, so let's see what we got here. The Solid Seeker patrol weapon explodes after a set time. The Riot Claw 
Okay, Claws of Walls to target his abilities, no weaknesses, none of that. Uh, can I even use a Hurricane? No, but I can use a True Hard Break, which, um, eh, I can get two of them there, so I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, it's unfortunate, yeah. Um, I have Estelle with the orb that gives her plus 50 attack power, so that's where I want to keep her. And, um, her other accessory, it's something else important. I don't remember what it is, though. It's plus 50 attack power and something else. But whatever it is, it gives her, um, I'll have to look at it, actually, because now I'm, now I'm curious what I actually have her equipped with. It's something else that's better than, um, the auto-regen uh, CP plus thing that I have on, um, that I have on Joshua. So we're gonna use Bobcat again. Yeah, Josette's gaining up CP like crazy. And, uh, Chloe has some nice CP too, so I'll go ahead and click on her so she can use her CP ability too. Awesome. Can I cut this out if I hit start? Will that cut it? No. That would be too much to ask. Oh, but I killed that guy. And... Oh! It, oh, it gave it buffs! Oh, hell. Okay, so yeah. Go ahead and get them both. Do this. Sanctus Nova. Yeah, this is the newest S-break from Chloe, and I think that I... Yeah, I know I did. I showed this off um, a couple episodes back, but it's nice enough to have. Go ahead and use it on them. Bam! Okay, well... Oh, he's still alive. Well, that sucks. Eh, not hard. Not too concerned. And... Okay, let's see. We'll have you... Yeah, go ahead and attack this guy. And then hopefully the girls... Oh, he has a critical hit. Sweet! Uh, with his critical hit, we'll go ahead and use a true dual strike, and that will take care of the big guy. And then this little asshole over here with his little buffs and everything will go down. Oh, you're healing yourself. Oh, you bastard! Oh, well, only by 300. It's not too bad. Uh, yeah, just attack. Can you? Your range sucks. Man, Joshua, take care of this person. Like, I don't have time for you right now. You're still alive? Holy crap, Olas! Man, you're harder than the main boss guy. Okay, well, we did it. Awesome. Yeah, and now we could go into the Central Tower, but I'm not going to! I want to go back and head to the Aerosel, the Axis Pillar. I've seen that tower in the skyline ever since we crashed, but I didn't realize just how big it was. Hey, Joshua, the others are in there, aren't they? Almost certainly. I'd be willing to bet that this tower originally served as, effectively, the Ark City Hall. I would imagine there's information of the Auroral inside as well. I see. So how do we do this, you think? Go straight in? Hmm. If the Enforcers are inside, we're in for the hardest fights of our entire lives. We should probably return to the Aerosel first to make sure we're absolutely completely prepared. I'd also like to tell Julia what we've discovered. Good idea. Let's head back then. I would imagine the Halo Rail Station is located nearby. I would imagine too. And it is. Right over here. Yeah. So let's... I'm going to go back to the Aerosel and I'm going to meet you there. While I'm up here, I just wanted to show you one little thing that I thought was amusing. Welcome, my lovely, lovely bracers. I'm leaving this message here as, knowing your pig-headedness, you'll eventually see it. Our little plan has entered its very last stage, and the true awakening of the Shining Ring is near. I dearly wish for you to see the moment, but just inviting you up would be a bit droll, wouldn't you agree? So let us have a bit of sport here. My co-conspirators await you within the pillar. Should you manage to best them and reach the pinnacle, you shall behold the Aurora's resurrection. I eagerly await your arrival. Don't disappoint me. P.S. Joshua, I'm so very glad to hear that you've gotten together with your friends again. Don't you think you're being a bit of a cad, ignoring Lowell and Ray Renee, though? I'm sure they'd love to say hello. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... That's just a little message hidden in there if you care to uh, see that. Anyway, off to the um, West Calmare Station to go to the... Um, God, what's the name of the airship? The airship. I'm at the Aerosel. That's the name of that airship. And I wanted to say that Estelle has the Divine Cross equipped. That was the other accessory that she has. 
besides the power orb, and it gives all of her abilities up. So that's why I didn't want to equip her with uh, anything else. But anyway, let's go talk to uh, Julia. Hi, everyone. How goes your investigation? Actually... I see. Yes. We're just about to ready to begin our investigation of the Axis Pillar. So we were right. That tower is a central administrative facility for the entire city. It must be where the Auroral is stored, and the enemy must be there as well. Very well, then. I'll join your investigation if you'll have me. What? I want to get a picture of the situation with my own eyes. Besides, it sounds like the Axis Pillar allows them to manipulate the city's functions as they wish. As skilled as you've all become, I think you could use all the help you can get against that. But, Julia, what about the aerosol's repairs? Don't worry, Your Highness. Most of the serious work is complete. I've already ordered the flight engine test. With that, the professor and the crew can manage what little remains, I think. Well, okay. I sure won't say no to the extra help. Glad to have you, Julia. On that note, then, allow me to accompany you as well. Seriously? Oh, Major Vander? The perimeter here is as secure as we can reasonably make it. Realistically, there's very little left for me to do here. A soldier should go where his skills are most needed, don't you agree? I see. You feel a bit lonely with Julia leaving, my friend. Her prowess does shine like the sun. I understand. You may pursue your heart. Just who do you think I came along for in the first place, you idiot? Regardless, the offer stands. I'll gladly help you if you need it. We'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Captain Major. Yeah, so now we actually get to use them as party members, but I'm not going to have them in party right now. As you can see, I threw Oliver in my party because um, we need him for the upcoming boss fight. Him and Chloe. And also buy a better omelet. I don't know why I didn't buy it before, but yeah. We totally need that better omelet and learn the recipe from that. Um, with all that being said, I believe... Oh, you know what? There is something else that you can do here, um, now that I think about it. If you go down to uh, Professor Russell's room and you check the capel, you can't... Check the frickin' capel. You can actually look at the different data crystals here. So, yeah, I'm going to do a bonus episode after this, immediately following this episode, of all the uh, data crystals there. So keep that in mind. So with all that done, let's head to the uh, Central Axis Tower. So I just went and I took the uh, Halo Rail system right back to the uh, Axis Pillar system. And now we're going to enter the uh, Axis Central Tower, or the Axis Pillar. Which isn't really much of a final dungeon, but hey, it is what it is. So this is what the heart of the city looks like inside. It reminds me of an orbit in some ways. And what the heck is that glowing liquid? I've never seen anything like that before. I think it may be a liquid medium for concentrated orbital power. I definitely wouldn't touch it barehanded. Oh yeah, look at that. Huh, I don't know what that is. That reminds me of the ether that would flow around in a Xenoblade. Get reviving bomb, serum capsule, emergency puppet, awesome. A tear all bomb, a long barrel three for extra range, and another tear all bomb. Can I do anything with this elevator? No! Okay, so just keep on moving and grooving right along. And follow, whoa! this path and avoid these monsters at all costs because I don't really feel like dealing with them. And let's see what we got over here. Um, screw you and move right along until we're finally over. Uh, let's see. Are we there yet? No, there is another treasure room that we can get, which I want to grab. Hmm. Oh, there it is. Perfect. Yeah. Go down in here and grab monsters. Okay. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Monster Trap of 4,000 HP can summon powerful monsters. Well, not if I have anything to say about it. Just go ahead and have her attack. I don't want to waste her CP because there are boss fights coming up, and I want to use her her, um, her CP for that. Um, and if you can't attack more than one monster, so I'm not going to bother with it. I'll use Oliver's. Yeah, his quick draw. Get all three of them in there. Awesome. Okay. And it looks like uh, her. She's going to use a Death Scream. Yeah. It's so good. It's so nice. And you know what? We've had so many EP restoring items throughout the game that I've never used. I do not feel bad at all about using them now. Uh, now is the time to use them. So if you want to just go all out with just casting arcs and killing all these people, hey, be my guest. I don't really care. Ooh, Requiem Heart. Okay, sure. Why not? 
Okay, get some cool stuff there. And get a Brave Staff, which is... I guess it's her penultimate weapon, because that should be her ultimate weapon. Yeah, it's not as good. But I do want to see uh, what that... What that S break does for Oliver, the Requiem Hearts. Barrage of bullets that shatter the silence. Okay, I can deal with that. And just keep on going this way. And we're gonna move up to uh, the second floor of the tower. Yeah, we're getting on through here really easily. Like I said, this place is just very straightforward. Grab the treasure, you know, do what you do, I guess. Whoa, what's this? Oh, the elevator to the second floor, hey. Can't complain about that. Yeah, easy enough. There you go. Oh, cool. Nothing to say about it. I'm shocked. You have s stuff to say about everything else. Well, here we are on the second floor. Make sure that you bring Chloe and Oliver along on the second floor, and you will find out why next time. On Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky Second Chapter. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget about the bonus episode detailing what the Capel data crystals are all about. Have a good day.